guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome um today i decided i'm gonna try and do the tag that was created by heather austin and mandy lee and that is the 10 most giftable palettes and i don't think they necessarily had to be eyeshadow palettes i did watch heather's video i still have to watch mandy lee's video it's on my watch list um guys vlogmas <laughs> is intense. I've never been so behind on videos, especially since so many people are doing like like every day or every other day or you know whatever it is and then so many people are doing lives and I'm trying to catch the lives and I'm like, "Oof. Guys, <laughs> it's intense. It's intense." So, um I went ahead and I picked out some palettes from my collection that I thought would be gift worthy palettes. Um, I think I have a good ratio of like neutral to colorful to, I did pick out face palettes, I think. Just technically two different ones. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If you're wondering what's on my face, if you haven't seen my Makeup by Mario video that went up on Sunday, then that's what's on my eyes and that's what's on my lips. Uh, my lips did wear down a little bit because I had eaten dinner, but I, I reapplied the gloss. I didn't put any more lip liner on and it looks great. Uh, but we're gonna get into it. I am gonna have my phone around just for reference of like, the pricing and stuff because I don't have everything memorized. Also, can we appreciate this phone case color? Mm, so nice. My favorite kind of green. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is in no specific order. I'm just going to pick up and show you guys. Um, I don't think I necessarily need to swatch everything for you. I'll try and swatch what I can, um, but I think like you can probably look up the swatches, right? Maybe I'll show you like a couple from each. I, I don't really know. So the first one I'm going to go with is the Supreme Nudes Palette by Artist Couture. This one just has such a luxe feel to it. It's that kind of bougie packaging. It feels kind of like the, um, I mean, people are probably going to come and knock me for this, but it feels very similar to like the Pat McGrath packaging. I mean, I only have her quads and then I have her six pan palettes, which are in the, the cardboard, but the, the black portion, the acrylic portion of her packaging feels like this. Um, it's a super magnetic. I love that it has that magnetic closure and just that it has no straight edges. Look how thin that is too. It's absolutely stunning. So, um, I actually picked this palette up back in September. I want to say it's been sold out in Sephora Canada for like ages. I swear I've been looking for this palette probably since May and I only got my hands on it in September when I looked up on my Sephora app and it was out of stock and I just happened to scroll down and see that I was in stock at one of our malls. They only had five. I picked up one and that was that. So I did get my hands on it which I'm super happy about. I mean I could have just purchased off of artistcouture.com. The problem is I live in Canada so shipping, you guys know, you know my ordeal with shipping every single time. So here it is. This is what the palette looks like. It's super neutral but it's got some beautiful shades in here like I will, um, I will, I will swatch a couple of them. I think I'll swatch for you guys. Hang on, I'm trying not to blind you. I think I'll swatch this one, which is Transcend. It's a matte. I will do Lavish because that's one of my favorites. And I'll do Supreme because I think everyone loves this palette for the green. So there they are on my fingers. Let's go ahead and I think we'll just do hand swatches. So this Lavish shade is so beautiful. The one in the middle. Oh my god, as an inner corner or just even all over the lid, it's so pretty. Absolutely love this Supreme shade as well. And this matte transcend is beautiful. You can use it as a transition, uh, but you can also use it to, you know, do like a soft, blown, smoky eye. So it can work either way. I think this is a really good palette to give to a neutral lover who wants maybe just a pop of color with like, you know, green or like the gold um, and they're used to just wearing like very matte shadows. Um, I think it would be nice for someone like that. 
but also I feel like this could be a nice palette for someone who does have a lot of neutrals because even myself when I bought this I had a lot of neutrals and none of them are like this. It is beautiful. It's a great palette to travel with and the pan sizes are huge. Like look at it next to my finger. They're huge. Um, I do really recommend this one. I think this one comes at $40. Yeah, so this one comes at $40 US or it comes to $53 Canadian. Um, but either way, I think it's a really good one for the price point that it's at. 53 is a lot, I know. But I mean, if you look at like some of the Huda ones, they're around the $80 mark or something ridiculous like that. So compared to that, I would say this is worth it. Now, if you have someone in your life that is a little bit better with eyeshadow. This is one that I'm gonna recommend. It's very similar to the Supreme Nudes. However, I feel like the formula is a little bit trickier to work with and not everyone loves it. I will preface, I will preface that. Um, but I love this brand. I love their formula. I love their shadows and I love their palettes. Um, I mean, I only have two in my collection. I do have a couple blushes, but this Melt Gemini palette it's so beautiful. They have so many other ones. Um, however, I do urge that you look up reviews on them before you decide to purchase because a lot of their palettes do have inconsistencies from what I've heard. But just look at these shades. You get some beautiful mustards, some rusty shades, a bronze, and a very pitch black in these greens. Okay, these greens are the reason. <laughs> I'm just going to swatch the greens for you because... I will say their mattes are beautiful. Their mattes are absolutely stunning. Like they go on like butter. Um, but the metallics are very tricky to work with. I am not gonna lie about that. So do keep that in mind when you're shopping Melt. But there they are, all swatched out. They're absolutely stunning. Just look at those. Any green lover in your life will love these. I don't actually, I was looking through a lot of my palettes and there's a lot of them that I can't include as giftable ideas because a lot of them are discontinued. So, you know, that kind of makes it tricky. My next one is going to be a super obvious one because how many videos have gone by where I have talked or have not talked about this palette? You know what I mean? This was the palette that I decided if I could have one of anything, this was going to be the one palette that I was going to choose. Although that may have changed now um, down the road considering some other discoveries I've made. But I'm gonna recommend this beautiful colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. Just look at that sleeve too. Like that just looks like a straight up gift. My soft box is really, really reflecting on it. But doesn't that just scream like, I don't know, it's just, it's so elegant looking. And like the back has it too. And I don't know if you remember, but I joked in one of my videos that I was gonna laminate this. I will. If Color Drain doesn't send me more of these sleeves, I will laminate it. But the actual packaging itself is very basic. It's got like the gold trim there. This one retails for $42 US. If you were able to snag it during Black Friday, they did have it for 50% off, but they no longer do. I did check. It's not on sale anymore. But also, who loves when a mirror flips back? I love that. Um, here is what the shade range in this palette looks like. Again, very neutral. I wanted to try and keep more options open for those because I know not a lot of people love to explore full on color. I do have some options for color that I'll show you later on, but I just thought I would include a lot of these. Now I feel like this is neutral, but it's also got pops of color. So I am gonna, let's see. Let's do the shade here, which is Royal Highness. Let's do Noble Woman. We'll do Ladyship. And let's do Queen Mother, which is the purple. I will say this Ladyship matte is a little bit trickier to work with, but oh my goodness. Like, look at that cranberry red shade right there. Isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely stunning. So gorgeous. My watch is going off. That's why you're seeing it light up. Sorry about that. But even that first, like, kind of you know, taupey pewtery shade. It's so beautiful. Also, if my lighting's different, I did turn off like my overhead lights and I just have my soft boxes on and my little twinkly lights back there. So that is why I'm just using like a tissue right now. I need to probably go get 
I have wipes, but I don't want to have to use a wipe until, until this happens. <laughs> now we're going to move on to, maybe I'll keep, no, I'll keep that one as a next option. So the next one I picked is a more recent one in my collection. And I did receive this um, in a trend mood box. Um, it is the Nabla side-by-side -side palette. It is a neutral dream come true. This palette, you guys, it is gorgeous. You're going to see how dirty this is, okay? You're going to see. I went to town swatching this, and I did do a look. I will link up in the cards my video. Um, I will link up in the cards any videos I've done on any of these. I know I have one for Queen of Hearts. I might have one for Gemini. I don't think I have Supreme Nudes on YouTube, but I do have an Instagram video, so I will link this, <laughs> um, but it's so stunning, you guys. I'm going to, I think I'm going to swatch for you my favorite row. I have swatched this already before, but my favorite row is this second last row. Um, so with burnt sienna, these mattes are so buttery, like they're so butter. Oh my God, I can't. Oh. I love this palette. I'm so happy that I got this box. And there you go. It is super neutral, very neutral, but the metallics in this, you guys, I'm not joking. I actually, you know what? I need to swatch one more for you. I'm gonna show you this gold that's called Paradiso because when I discovered this palette, it was during Kara C's Live. And this gold is just, I don't know if you guys can even see but the video, the promo video, wow. That gold, even in person, is just beautiful. So this is another one. Let me just check how much this one is because this one I can't quite remember. Okay, so the Nabla side-by-side -side palette retails for $56.50. I'm pretty sure that that is the Canadian pricing. I'm just going to go onto Nabla's website and double check. It says that it's $39.90 in euros. So I'm sure you guys can go and do the conversions. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I think this would be a great gift for anyone that also wants to try an Italian formula because, and an indie brand. So, I mean, so far for indie, we've had uh, Colored Rain. Melt was indie, but now I guess they're more mainstream because they also sell at Sephora. Um, Nabla, though, indie brand and Italian formula. I just think that, you know, that would be a great option. They're also 100% vegan and cruelty free. Um, I think it's such a good quality. Like it feels nice. Everything about it is nice. The whole collection is nice. You could even get them the glitter toppers with this. Um, if they're into glitter, you know, there's so many different things. The brush set was really good, but I don't think you can get the brush set here. I think it's only exclusive to Europe and the Trend Mood box. So unfortunately you can't get the brush set, but they do have other brush sets on their website, and I will say their brushes are so damn good. They really remind me of the BK Beauty ones, and if you like the BK Beauty brushes, that I know that you will enjoy those. Um, next, we're going to step into a little bit more of a bougie brand, I guess, a little bit more expensive. This is a brand that I just discovered this year. I do have a few palettes by them, um, but I haven't tried the other ones, so I'm not going to recommend the other one's based on, um, you know, just the looks of them. But of course, there is one that I will say, like, that's the one that I would gift. Uh, but it is more expensive in price. So I'm talking about Natasha Denona. I got the Glam palette. This was my first Natasha Denona palette. Um, so first exposure to the brand. Um, actually, no, not to the brand. Because I did have a bronze and glow little mini duo by her and I also did have a lip gloss which the lip gloss I did not like um this however you guys know my reactions if you've seen my video again I will link it in the cards above but holy Toledo okay it looks super cool toned it looks super fair but guys I'm like a medium skin tone and this was perfect on me it was beautiful it blended beautifully um and there's so many different shade options in here. I think this is such a versatile palette. If you know someone that loves cool tones or that doesn't have cool tones in their collection, this is such a good option. Of course, you know I'm going to say Metropolis would be an awesome gift because I know I would love to receive that. This palette retails for 
$65 US and $87 Canadian. I will um, do a couple swatches. It is super cool toned. But see, like, I just put four colors together, and I would totally do a look with this. It's so easy, and I will say, um, a lot of people told me that the Natasha Denona formula blends itself, and I don't think they're lying, because when I've used this palette, that is what my experience was. It literally took nothing to blend it. So this would also be great for someone who's a complete beginner when it comes to makeup, and they're just wanting to get into makeup. You know... Um, I think that her formula is is that good. It's that good. It's worth the price. Uh, I mean, I know like the ones that are, what are they, 129 US, like the bigger palettes. And I think they're 170 Canadian. Um, it is a little bit more. It is a little bit more for sure. But if you're looking to splurge on a gift, then you could go one up and get one of those. I think this would be a great one to go with. She's got a lot of bundle deals on her website. Not necessarily with this one. Um, I think the bundle deals she has, she has one with Love and Sunrise. Um, I forget the pricing for those, but you know, you can go to her website and check it out. And I think there is a code NDXBOXY as long as you make a brand new account on Natasha Denona's website. You can use that for 25% off until, I think it's until December 25th. If I'm wrong, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll pin the comment, but you know, that's just what I remember from what someone told me. So uh, there is that. My battery is dying. I should probably change this and then I'll continue on with the rest of the palettes. Okay, also I know a lot of the picks are probably maybe, they're not all similar, sorry. Side by side was similar. I think maybe she also picked Supreme Nudes in the next one I'm going to show you. I know Heather Austin already mentioned these, but they're ones that I would suggest as well. So that just shows you how giftable they really are. So the next one I would give to someone maybe who's a little bit younger. You can give it to a makeup lover who loves to collect makeup in different colors, different formulas, uh, different brands, different collections. This one, when I saw it, it caught my eye. And then I hesitated because I hadn't heard such great things about the formula. And then Karen Harris and Heather Austin tried it out and I was sold. Um, and that is this beautiful Beauty Bay palette. It is by the Beauty Bay in-house brand and it's the Book of Magic. It's so cute. I love that it has it like on the spine. It's a holographic spine. I like to store my palette in my credenza here and it stores them kind of like books. I'll show you guys when I do my makeup collection video closer to the end of December. But just like look at that holographic design. Isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. But wait, wait. Okay, this is also another palette that's very dirty of mine. So don't judge me, but you can just see like how much love was given to it. I haven't done a video with this one. Um, I tried to, but I was out of focus the entire time, so it's kind of unfortunate, and I was going to try to put it on IGTV. I still do have the footage. I'll take a look at it again. If it's good enough, maybe I'll put it up on IGTV, but oh my god, the shades in here are pretty. They're so beautiful. I'm just going to put a picture up here so you can see when I've used it. A lot of you guys loved this look. I really wish when I filmed it that it wasn't out of focus because it would have been posted for you, I promise, but... I know how, much, how many of you love this look. This is a palette that it took to get there. However, I will say there are some people who don't like this formula, so maybe go watch some reviews. I know my friend Millie didn't like it. Um, her channel is Bad to the Brow if you haven't checked her out. She didn't enjoy this formula at all. She felt that when she pressed into the mattes that they turn into hard pan. I, however, don't feel that way, so um, I'll show you a couple swatches. Also, for the price of it, it's really not like that hurtful when a formula is like not the best um I I really enjoyed it I thought it was fine um uh, but you know everyone's different and that's okay um there is like a duo chromey shade in here so maybe I'll swatch that one this is so cool <laughs> uh and I think this one retails for 15 US dollars and 20 Canadian 22.50 Canadian but just look at those you know what I want to wipe off my fingers I want to show you a couple more shades I'm going to show you some of those like blues as well Ooh, hoo, hoo. it does have neutrals but I'm not even going to bother swatching neutrals because who wants to see those I'm going to show you the two blues aren't those pretty 
Oh my god, it's just stunning. So the duo chromey one is here. It's kind of like a green brown, but it's more of like a pink and mint green now that I'm swatching it. Yeah, it's like mint green to kind of like a pinky brown. It's not so much like a brown to green, at least not in my eyes. Maybe other people see differently, but I think they're absolutely stunning. For the price, like you can't go wrong. <laughs> So, you know, if you have a teenager in your life that's just starting out, wants to try makeup, wants to play with color, I feel like this would be such a good gift for them. Um, if you have a makeup lover in general in your, you know, family that you want to get a bunch of different gifts for, then you could go ahead and get this one with a bunch of other things because it would be more cost effective as well because it's not so pricey. I mean, I absolutely loved it. If you guys want me to do a video because I didn't do one, let me know. Um, I can definitely do that um, and try to get it out for you guys sometime, uh, sometime this month. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to push that out. It just depends how bad you guys want it. Maybe I can try to get it out sometime by the end of the week or something. I do really recommend this one based on price, quantity of product you get, and the quality for the price. So I think this one is gorgeous. The color story is so lovely. It's so much fun to work with. Okay, so the next one's kind of a two-in-one, and I'm showing you two-in-one because I have two of these, but there's actually a total of six. These are restocking on December 12th, so I thought I would let you guys know. Um, those are the BH Cosmetics Ice Cream, no, Sweet Shop, Sweet Shop, Sweet Shop palette. I don't have all of them, but I know, oh, people... We're showing photos, but apparently they stack like this, like all six of them stack like this, and they make like a giant um, like five scoop or six scoop ice cream cone. They're so cool. I have played with this one. If you guys have seen my Domestic Violence Awareness Month video, um, again, linked in the cards if I have room. I think I should have room. I'll think, I think I'll have enough for each of the videos that I've done, um, but I did play with this one, and this one's the red one, so cherry on top it's actually more pink than red which is kind of unfortunate but guys this formula is so good it's so pretty like just look at that on my fingers like how vibrant those are um and i'll show you like are you looking at this this is bh cosmetics like are you kidding me they're so pretty i haven't even touched the ca uh, cotton candy one yet because i just haven't had time these retail i think regular price is 18 dollars when I bought them, they were on sale for $13.50, but $18, these are actually quite worth it because of the formula. I'll show you cotton candy as well. So that's what the, the cover looks like. And you go into the pop. This one's so cute. Look how cute that is. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. Let me show you. The sugar shape looks so fun. And then sugar plum. And then let's do light and airy and then let's do twirl their metallics are a little bit chunky though i will say but i feel like they're easy to work oh my god i'm gonna have to work with this one <laughs> we're gonna have to play with this one i feel like this pink one the last metallic pink wasn't as great look at those colors guys aren't those so pretty <gasps> oh my god i think these would also make Great gifts for any teenagers that are trying to get into makeup, but also guys, just makeup lovers in your life. This formula, like I am so shocked that this is BH Cosmetics. How the hell did they do it? Also BH, why are these limited edition? Like why? Just keep them around. <laughs> Don't make them limited edition. It's like someone at BH was like, guys, we're gonna make a palette and we're gonna make it really good and we're gonna give it to them and then we're gonna take it away. Why? Don't do that to us. <laughs> um, I would love for them to just make it a permanent product so that in the new year when I'm doing my beauty budget, I can budget it in and get it. Please, BH, <laughs> listen to us. Um, the next one is going to be this ABH Norvina palette. Now, I would say you can go with any of them. The reason that I'm including this one, this is the volume three. I have volume one, two, and three. I don't have volume four, um, but I do like the formula of these. So um, I would say if you want to get volume one, I would get it for like, you know, your super girly person in your life. The volume two I would get for someone who really loves their blues. This one, however, 
I feel like actually volume two has a good amount of greens too but this one has a good mix of a lot of those and that's kind of why I liked this one so let me open this up and let me just show you they look really bright neon and scary but they're not um I don't find them intimidating at all I think I have filmed with this maybe before I don't think I loved the look I did with it but I have played with it again and I do really love this palette I think that the metallics in here are super pretty the mattes are really nice and you get a good variety of shades like you get pink you get green you get well you have one blue but you get like a lot of neutrals in here so for someone who's really not sure about color I think it would be really fun to play with but just look at the vibrancy in those shades it's absolutely pretty and if you know someone that really wants neons in their life I feel like these palettes are a good option to go with and if you want someone that wants this kind of palette but wants more say neutral I think that the volume four would be a good option it is definitely more like on the pink side but considering the amount like it has more pinky purples but they're like lighter and airier than say the volume one um but i love the size of these i know the price is kind of scary but i think they're nice they're nicely packaged they're in the hard case um i would say this packaging actually is very similar to like the natasha denona middies that's what it feels like to me um i really do like this one i think these are still available i hope i'm not wrong let me look it up. Did I even tell you guys prices on everything? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Anastasia. You know, Anastasia used to be one of my favorite brands. I don't really buy a lot from them anymore. It's solely just because they're not really releasing anything that I'm super interested in. Yeah, so these are still available. They are $79 Canadian. Um, I'm not sure what the U.S. pricing is, but I'm guessing that's around the $60, $60 range. 55 to 60 out I don't even know um but you know you guys can do the conversions you can look it up on your Sephora apps and stuff I do really like this and holy crap it's heavy so <laughs> I'm gonna put it down um the next two so number nine and ten are going to be face palettes I think the first one I'll show you is this one this one's by Smashbox and it is the Cali Kissed um I noticed that Heather Austin included uh, face palette. So I thought that was a clever idea because not everyone loves eyeshadow. Some people are all about complexion. Um, this one is a mix of uh, bronzer, blush, and I think highlighters. Yeah, so I'll show you. It looks like this again, mirror flips all the way back, which we love. I love the packaging on this one too. You get, you know, a beautiful golden highlight. You get this kind of blush topper type highlight. You get a you don't get a matte bronzer in here, which I think that's the only thing that's kind of lacking, but they're so pretty. They're really, really pretty. You get a beautiful coral blush. Actually, you know what's funny is I was looking for a really good coral blush, so this might do it for me, but I think this is absolutely stunning. Um, and you know, if you have someone that wants a good face palette, I think Smashbox does really good um, complexion stuff for people who don't like, I feel like, heavy makeup their foundation is one of my favorites um their studio skin um oh my god it's so good i think i just have the slightly wrong shade in it possibly or it's just oxidizing on me like crazy so um yeah that's that my fingers are turning red can you tell look at the difference i think this is a great uh product to gift because you get kind of an everything in one let me just double check the pricing i know this is still stocked on sephora canada i'm not sure about sephora us it retails for oh my god i just clicked it come on 52 dollars canadian so that means it's probably 40 dollars us um i just love a look at that it looks like a vacation I would love to use this as a travel palette someday when I can travel again. Um, one more by ABH, you guys, because they're glow kits. This was one of my first highlight. No, this was my first highlighter palette. This was my first highlighter palette. It's their sun. Oh, I'm holding it backwards. It would help if I held it up straight, right? It's the sun dipped glow kit. One of my shades is actually kind of broken. I kind of pressed it back in this one um but I like that you can remove these um but I will show you they make for really like good body highlighters 
they're just super pretty. I'll do all four of them, I guess, since I can. My hand is too pink. I don't even know if you can tell. They just have a really nice sheen to them. I don't know if you can even get this one anymore. Um, oh, you can. Sun Dipped is still available. This is out of stock right now. This was on sale for $26. You know what? I think a lot of their glow kits were. The Sugar Glow Kit's another one that's really popular. Oh, crap. They're all, like, sold out. Well, Moonchild isn't. I don't have Moonchild, but I do have one similar I can show you, which I did pull out. I have the Aurora, which I found at, like, Winners, which is kind of like TJ Maxx. So it's probably like, you know, old crappy makeup, but you know what? It's powder, so it's okay. That one looks like this. It's got some fun colors in it. I've used this one a lot. Um, I love a lot of these shades, and I like using them on the eyes. I like using them on the face. The green one is so beautiful. I've used it on my face so many times. Um, they look really intimidating, but you guys, they're really pretty. They're so pretty. However, I am getting Davina ones in <laughs> eventually because I did order them like a couple days ago. I can't wait to see those. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I think this was also the same price point, $52. I would say if I had to pick one kind of in maybe the middle to gift somebody, I would maybe go with Mm, it's hard to just pick one. I feel like I would go with one of the Natasha Denona mini palettes or maybe even one of her like mini palettes or something or a couple of her mini palettes. I feel like they're just really good options. Let me show you guys the Sunrise actually because I feel like the Sunrise would be a really pretty option. I haven't used it yet but I can show it to you. So here she is. I haven't even really taken her out of the case minus the fact that I did take some photos <laughs> with her but she comes in this beautiful red case. I just think I love how this is like it's a matte metallic feel. It's so pretty. It's so just classy. Ugh. Look at that. So you get a bunch of neutrals. I would say like this half you get a lot of neutrals and then you get a lot of color. Um, sorry for the glare. So the neutrals and then the color. And you get this beautiful purple shade in here called Aster. Um... I think this one would be a really good option if you're looking for more colorful. So I think what I would pick is for a neutral palette, I would say the Glam by Natasha Denona because I've tried it and I do really enjoy that. Uh, but if you want a more colorful option in that kind of price range and formula, then I would say this or, I mean, you could always take a look at her Love palette or the Bronze palette if you want something a little bit more warmer and not so cool toned. But yeah, that's it. Make sure you guys go and check out Heather's video and also Mandy Lee's video, which I still need to check out. I will have both of them linked below. If you've done this video, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to go check your video out. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of my community here on YouTube. And also go follow me on my socials. My Instagram and my Twitter are linked down in the uh not the comments, the description bar below. But I've also linked my TikTok, which I'm not on as much, but Instagram is like the place that I'm at all the time. Um, and don't be afraid to DM me. I chat with all of you and I love chatting with you guys. It's been so much fun over the past couple weeks getting to know you all. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you. So thank you for being here with me. And if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. I have lots of other content on here that you can watch. I've linked all of my palette videos in the cards above. But that's it for this video, you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.